What's up ladies and gentlemen, Josh Mason here. One of my old mentors in my sales jobs told me, success is the best revenge. I agree with that, except there's a layer deeper than that. The layer deeper than that is to never do something because you want to have revenge on someone who told you you couldn't do it. That's cool, it'll probably get the job done. Allow that to be a side dish. The main course should always be passion should always be love it should always be for humanity for healing for heart but <clears throat> on the forgiveness note or rather on the revenge note forgiveness is the ultimate form of revenge okay when you're holding resentment towards someone else hatred anger misery anger is the most common one you are literally taking poison and waiting for them to die Think about that. You're taking the poison, they're occupying the real estate in your mind while you think about them and grind on them and say how many things they do wrong, they've done wrong and they've fucked you over. Don't you understand? Nobody can take anything from you. Nobody can fuck you over. It's your own story that's playing about what happened. If you wanna forgive someone, how do we do it? Well, start with Ho'oponopono. It's a Hawaiian method of, I'm sorry, Please forgive me, thank you, I love you. You'd say that out loud, sing it. I'm sorry to the person, I'm sorry to myself, thank you to them. Please forgive me, ask them for forgiveness. You're pissed at them, ask them for forgiveness. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. You wanna really be a badass? Call them. Call them and apologize for holding them wrong. Call them and apologize, say, you know what? Listen, I've been holding you wrong all of these years. I've been making up the story that you've been wrong all these years. You didn't do anything. It's my story. Free yourself. It's not about them. I tell people this all the time, my clients, they say, you don't understand what this person did to me. You just don't understand. You don't understand how closed-minded John is. You don't understand how much of an asshole my dad is. You call them and you apologize for holding them wrong. You tell them that you love them, if you do. You tell them that you want to be open to the possibility of having an awesome, fruitful relationship, honest relationship with them, if you do, you will watch as these people radically transform from the biggest asshole to the most incredible father you've ever seen. Give them a chance. Stop holding them wrong. Stop taking the poison and waiting for them to die. Stop letting them occupy real estate in your mind, okay? Drop the hatred, drop the anger. It, sometimes it doesn't happen overnight. Sometimes it's a slow and steady progression. You purge it out of your being. But you don't want to hold on to that. If you have places to go, people to see, healing to, be, to do, if you want to change the world, you cannot hold on to that bullshit. All right, that's all for today. Peace.